एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी आई एम अनमोल भाटिया एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट वी आर लर्निंग इन दिस वीडियो वुड बी सी एन सी मशीनिंग in the first part of the video we have uh, seen the concept of cnc and nc machining and we have already learnt what is a part program and how it is made we have learnt the components of the nc programming also now in this part of the video we'll be having a conceptual clarity on the classification of the cnc system and how the cnc system is different from the nc system additionally i will be answering to the question that i have raised in the initial part of the video so we start the second part of the video which is the cnc machining and this topic is from the course manufacturing practices i am straight away coming to the topic uh, that we'll be covering so the topic is the classification of the nc system nc system i have told you that the nc stands for the numerical control and uh, there is a part program which is there in the system and that part program is useful in giving a motion to the work piece that in turn will provide the metal removal action so coming to the classification based on the type of motion we have the first category which is point to point system then we have the next category which is the straight line system and the third category which is the continuous path system or the contouring process then we have the second classification which is based on the type of control loops which is the open loop and the closed loop situation and the third one is based on the type of programming methods which is absolute programming and the incremental programming so let us look at these concepts one by one so the first concept is based on the type of motion that we have and in this we have the point to point system i'll just explain this point to point system but let me just enlarge it once the first one is the point to point system in this you can see that i have a work piece which is the job and this is my starting point so my tool is here at the starting point i have to provide a feed to the tool at this particular location so let's say if i am drilling the holes on the surface so i need to follow this point to point system in which the first point is this point and on the second point the tool will come uh, drill a hole and then again come back again go to the third point drill a hole then come back and then it moves to the next point drill a hole again so this is the case of the point to point system then you have the case in which you want to machine uh, this block in a straight line fashion so for that you have the tool and you need to provide the depth of cut to the tool so that when it comes in contact here so there must be some insertion of the tool there and then it follows a straight line path and it cuts the necessary length following a straight line but if the requirement is of a contour let's say the requirement is of a uh, continuous path so for that the tool can also move in a continuous direction so this is the motion of the tool and there would be a contour that would be formed on the surface that we want to machine the second uh, classification comes in the situation where uh, you have the open loop system and the closed loop system in these two categories uh, let us have the concept of this programming again so we have a stepper motor here in which they we supply certain pulse to the stepper motor and we have a gear which keeps on rotating so this part is converted into the work into the linear motion the rotary motion of this 
part is converted into the linear motion with the help of this lead screws that we have. But the worker is not able to see the position of the workpiece. Here the system is called as the open loop system because there is no feedback from the system that where is the position of the workpiece. Then in the second situation the same thing is happening but we have the position sensor here and with the help of this position sensor there comes the feedback signal that gives the signal to the comparator in which it interprets the position of the workpiece that where it is recently. It also provides you a chance to look for any uh, improvements if there is any malfunctioning in the machine. So before uh, connecting it with the gear we have to connect with the digital to analog converter and then the DC motor is there. The third category is of uh, the programming methods in which there are two situations which are absolute programming and incremental programming. So in this concept what happens we have two cases. Uh, the first case is uh, like when all the dimensions are given from a common datum point from zero. Let's say I have a workpiece and this workpiece needs to be machined in this fashion. So what I will do whenever I'll prepare the part program I'll look for the coordinates of this these. So when my tool reaches from this coordinate to this coordinate it would have a linear movement then another from this coordinate to this coordinate would have a linear motion and this to this it would have a linear motion. But if I calculate the distances from the datum point, datum is the initial point where the tool was initially located. So if I calculate all the distances from the datum, let's say if this is 0, 0,20 and then it moves in this direction but the distance is calculated from the datum which was 0. So here let's say this is 10 so this coordinate would be 10 comma 20 and if I want to give this distance so this distance is let's say um, 30 from the datum so I need to calculate the distances from the datum so here I need to specify the coordinate which is 10 comma 30. Right. So all the distances are calculated from the datum and in the later situation which is the incremental programming what happens I have to give the distance in the initial case as this much only which is 0 to 20 then I give that distance from this part which is 0 to 20. So this is 0 to 20 then if I add this value which is 10 so I will get this 10 comma 20 and then the next distance is not calculated from the datum rather it would be calculated from this distance. So if this is 10 comma 20 and there is some increment so the tool is placed at this location and there is an increment there. So if let's say an increment of 10 so we need to specify that gap or specify that distance as 10 comma 10. So this needs to be specified as 10 comma 10. Okay. So the only uh, difference is when we provide the distances from the datum, I will name this as the absolute programming and when I provide the distances from the previous point or the past position then it is named as uh, the incremental programming. And if you remember in the initial part of the video I asked you a question that what is the application of coordinate geometry in engineering. So here I am no doubt using coordinate geometry and for engineering aspect I am manufacturing or removing the components or removing the material in order to produce the component. So it is somewhat have a, a close relation with each other. So that answers to the question. Then coming to the CNC aspect, CNC is the improvement to the NC systems. Uh, CNC is that kind of NC system in which the dedicated or the stored programs 
and that stored program is there in the computer. So majorly we have a machine tool and the machine tool is directly connected to the computer. So it is called as computer numerical control machine. Earlier we had to punch in the um, program in a tape that leads to wastage and then that tape reads the tape recorder that leads to the wastage. Now what happens, we have the case of pen drives or we have a case of a card. So program can be inbuilt in the in case of a pen drive and that pen drive is inserted into the computer itself and then the computer reads the particular program and then interprets the program for the movement of the tool. So here also here you can see that the program is entered once and that is stored in the computer memory and that computer is, is particularly there for the storage of all the programs. It can be the program can be edited but initially when the NC system was used the editing uh, was not possible because the program was punched into the punch tapes. Running the program directly from the memory and any sort of diagnostics can also be done with the help of the computer. In this what you can do you can go for uh, the incremental programming or you can go for the absolute programming but you can switch also. You can switch between the absolute or the incremental programming case. Now let us look at the differences between the NC and the CNC system. If I talk about flexibility, flexibility in terms of the changeovers or flexibility in terms of switching from incremental to the absolute programming, the CNC is more flexible as compared to the NC system as it is an advancement. The data reading error is lesser in case of a CNC machine but it is less, it is more in case of the NC machine. Editing of the program as you can uh, see that uh, we can edit the program in the computer itself. So editing of the program is easy in comparison to the NC machine uh, wherein we had the punch tapes and it is very difficult to change that program there. Diagnostic case if there is any malfunctioning of the machine that can be detected easily but here it cannot detect that malfunctioning. Conversion of the units can be done in the computer itself. The computer will itself go for the conversion of the units uh, and in case of the NC it has to be done because it is the manual programming. The cost of setup is higher in case of the CNC but it is lesser in case of the NC machine. The maintenance cost is more because it requires computers. As compared to the NC system the maintenance cost is uh, more for CNC but the maintenance cost is lesser for the NC uh, systems. Both of them has some maintenance cost but lesser one is there for the NC and more is there for the CNC aspect. So with this we come to the end of the second part of the video wherein we learnt uh, about the classification of the NC systems. We have seen certain advantages and limitations of the NC systems and also uh, I have answered the, uh, the question that I had raised in the initial part of the video. If you haven't watched the first part of the video, you can watch that by clicking the link which is there in the description box below. In order to have the detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.